Today, I'm gonna to show you how to recreate this stroke logo animation from Audible's new commercial and show you step-by-step -step how to make your own version using After Effects. My name is DJ from Eternal Visuals. Let's not waste any time, let's get into it. To mimic the shots from the commercial, even though I didn't have access to an airplane, I did have a sunrise I could take advantage of. I filmed the close-up using an 85 millimeter prime lens and 6K so I could do the zoom out effect without losing any quality, and filmed the wide shot using a zoom lens at 20 millimeters. Once I matched the clip's timing with the commercial, I went online and found a PNG file of the Audible logo. If you want to follow along, there is a link in the description with the footage and logo file. Now it's time to open up After Effects. I created a new composition at 24 frames a second with a 5 second timeline at 1920 by 1080 resolution. Then imported my footage and logo. I dragged my footage onto the timeline and grabbed my shape tool and created a rectangle in the timeline and then used the align tool to center the shape. This is going to be used as a reference and deleted later. Select your pen tool and create a start point at the bottom middle of the rectangle. Then make another point on the middle left side. Then while creating the top middle point, click and hold while holding shift on your keyboard to create a curve for our top arch. Then another point on the right middle and complete the shape by selecting your bottom middle point. Once you've completed the shape, you can delete the rectangle and make sure your points are centered by using the shape guides to help. Select the fill option to be none, then select the audible logo so it displays on the preview window. Select your stroke option and using the eyedropper tool, select the orange book icon. Now that we have our base shape, we can begin to animate. Let's start with scale. Make sure your playhead is at the beginning of the timeline. Hit S on your keyboard to open up the scale settings. Decrease the scale to about 40% and create a keyframe. Move the timeline to 2 seconds, and while holding Ctrl Alt Shift, drag the arch so it increases in size and disappears out of the frame by a decent bit. Then ease in and out. Head back to the beginning of the timeline and hit T on your keyboard to open the opacity settings. Drag the opacity to 0, make a keyframe, and then move to 18 frames and bring the opacity back to 100. Now head back to the beginning of the timeline one more time, and with your layer selected in the search bar, type stroke. You should see a property called stroke width. Set the width to two, then create a keyframe. Then move back to 18 frames and increase the width to 11. Then move to one second, six frames and create another keyframe at 11. Our base animation is done, now we're going to make it echo. To get this effect, we're going to copy and paste our layer nine times to have 10 total and delay each layer by three frames by dragging them on the timeline. Shift click to select all of your arch layers. Then in the search bar, type in stroke once again to pull up all of your stroke width properties. Head to two seconds, five frames on the timeline and move all the stroke widths down to one. With all the layers still selected, hit T on your keyboard to bring back up the opacity settings. Head back to 2 seconds on the timeline, create a keyframe at 100, move forward to 2 seconds 12 frames, and drop it to 0. Now our arch echo animation should be complete. Let's bring in our logo. Drag it onto the timeline, head to 2 seconds, hit S on your keyboard, and drag the scale down to 53%. Make a keyframe. Then move back 12 frames, and drop the scale to 15. Ease in and out. Then hit T, and drop the opacity to 0. Create a keyframe then head to two seconds and raise it to 100. Ease in and out. I did add the subtitle in using Roboto Regular as the font type at 36 pixels. Reframe the position, then parented the text to the logo so it matched the scale animation, and then copy and pasted the opacity keyframes. And that's it. Even though this animation wasn't very difficult to recreate, you can tell a lot of time went into creating such a professional but simple design. I hope you learned something today and can't wait to see you in the next one.